Okay, once again, Roger, Mud Fossil University, fairest of all fair users, just making comments because that's allowed under the fair use. And I am referring to these people who did an excellent, fabulous job, the Exodus Decoded histor History Documentary. Now, they're going to go into this um, in great detail about, is, is it, was it true? Was it factual? Was there really an exodus? Now, I want to get a hold of these guys because I have evidence to show that a lot of the ancient stories were factual. I can't attest to the exodus specifically, but I can throw a little more water into the, the, the well that proves that, well, that shows that things that were written were more than just fairy tales about giants and so forth. Now, again, fair use, I'm just going to let him talk about this for just a minute. Here goes. What, what would you have to find in order to prove the Exodus? The Exodus story is at the very heart of Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. For thousands of years, believers have treated it as historical fact. But in the past few decades, scholars have called the story a fairy tale. I'm James Cameron, and I know a filmmaker who for nearly a decade has been on a mission to answer a 3,000-year-old question. Is the I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to let him explain who we're talking about in a second. But before he does, I want to tell you, just yesterday or the day before, or possibly, University of Glasgow some guy named Bateman, I believe was his name, said that creationism and God is a conspiracy theory equivalent to taking over our capital and is dangerous. Now, listen to this. I can destroy everything he has to say because he says that the people, anybody that believes in God has no right to believe in anything scientific. I say he has no right to speak about science because he won't examine the facts. And I have put University of Glasgow on notice as being, they're going to have to address this because I have facts to present that their facts are incorrect. And if they don't address it, they will just be another disgrace in academia. All right, so here it goes. The Exodus fact or fiction. His name is Simka Yakubovich, and he's a two time Emmy winner in investigative journalism. He claims that scholars have missed the archaeological evidence that's hiding in plain sight. Well, you're not lying. More than that, he seems to have come up with the goods by putting together the long forgotten pieces of the ultimate archaeological mystery. I got a I, well. I see it. I sent By stuff off. down now. experts from a variety of disciplines who rarely, if ever, talk to each other. That is the key. The deal with Mud Fossil University is we possess all of those and an open mind in every one of those fields. So there's no push to shove anywhere. There's an embracement of well, what did you find? What did you find? What did you see? What did I see? Who said that? Who said this? Let's discuss it. Let's not just say, oh, forget about it, forget about it. 100% of academia has done that so far. Now, I'm going to leave it at this for today, but we are going to investigate. This is a very long the hour and 34 minutes. I'm going to go through it and see what he has to say about the excess, but I'm hoping that this fellow will get back to me. I tried to contact all these people. Uh, and if anybody can get a hold of anybody that will do a documentary on my work, which verifies that we have giants. There was giants, no question. I have absolutely no, no question whatsoever. And if they want to bring the experts to do the testing, no, no problem whatsoever. All right, so I'm going to leave it at this for today. But stick with me. We're going to get into this because they're, con they're considering God a conspiracy theory now. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm serious. I'm serious. God is a conspiracy theory. If you believe in creation over evolution of a big bang from nothing, to just blowing away from everything, and then all of a sudden turning smart and killing each other, you know, then 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 you're you're a smart person if you believe that. But if you believe that there might have been a creator and this this whole thing might have been designed by who knows what where it came from in the beginning, but it didn't just 
turn little bits and pieces from slime into what we are now. And the slime didn't develop from a big bang of nothing one day for no reason. I mean, it's, 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 the whole thing is the most infantile explanation for existence that, that, that I could even imagine. It's just insanity. Yeah, well, it just popped off for nothing because there was nothing there, but all, it was just dust, and then the dust all just came together exactly in a magnificent configuration that we see, and then it all got smart and then got nasty and mean and vicious and uh, killed each other and destroyed the earth and uh, laughed at the idea that anything could possibly have been intervening in this process other than this dead dust. Insanity. Stick with me.